Um, real quick, we are devastated by your loss, and we cannot fathom what it must be like to have experienced something like this, and our hearts truly go out to you. There is nothing that I could say as a FEMA employee that would make you feel better right now in this moment, I know, but just know that as a person, um, I don't know that I could be sitting in this room today, and you guys are, so kudos to you guys for that, honestly. Um, to that end, FEMA is here in Rutherford County. We have an individual assistance like site set up at the Ingalls parking lot. What can you do there? You can register for individual assistance there. You all are entitled to apply to this program and it consists of multiple parts. You may have heard on social media that these are loans. These are not loans. These are grants. You do not have to pay them back, okay? That $750 that we're talking about, that is not a loan, nor is it the only amount that you will get. If you are entitled to more, you will get it. Um, these disaster survivor associates, they're called DSA agents, you might hear that term. They're gonna be at the Ingalls for now, and we're hoping to set up what we call a disaster recovery center. And what that will house is not just FEMA, right, but SBA for your small businesses, which is the Small Business Administration, USDA maybe. It will host a, a, a it will be a one-stop shop basically for assistance. And we're hoping to set one of those up. And as soon as we have that information, we will communicate it to your local elected officials. And I know Laura is probably going to hate me for this, but I'll make sure Laura pushes it out however I can. Um, but there is help out there, there is help available. There are a couple of things that I wanna to touch on though that are really, really important. If you do not see someone, if someone knocks on your door and they say that they are from FEMA and they're holding a clipboard and it looks real official like, they need to have a badge that looks like this. It has to say FEMA on it, it's gotta be holographic. If they do not have that badge and they are not willing to show you that badge, call the cops because that is not a FEMA associate. They will start door-to-door -door canvassing in Rutherford County tomorrow. What does door-to-door -door canvassing mean? That means these are the people that are gonna knock on your door and say, hi, I'm from FEMA, have you registered for individual assistance? If anybody else comes in, <laughs> literally guys, anybody else, call the police because that is somebody who is trying to scam you. There are three ways to apply for assistance. So if you miss them at your door, don't think that that's it, that's your only opportunity. The other way is through the FEMA app, which I don't know, I have a general idea of what the internet service is like here, and I feel like it may be a little bit spotty, so we're not gonna rely on that one. Um, the other one is generally online. There's an application process. From what I understand, it takes about 20 minutes to get through. Be prepared with some documents, and the website will walk you through that. The website is disasterassistance.gov, not .org, not .com. If it is not a .gov website, that's bad. We have been notified of multiple copycat websites that look very FEMA official-like, that are asking people for their social security number and their bank deposits and all of this stuff, and they're just stealing your information. So .gov, or else it's a no-go. I still haven't found a really good mnemonic for that, but I'm workshopping it. Um, and basically, assistance is available in multiple languages, so if you have neighbors that speak Spanish, that speak Chinese, that speak Arabic, we can get them assistance in the language that they need. Now, a couple of things to note, for individual assistance, there is a deadline, and that deadline is 60 days. However, we do not believe that it will stay 60 days. We believe that it will get extended. And if we get notice of that, that also will be communicated to your leadership and will be posted in some public place. FEMA.gov slash Helene, I believe, is gonna be your one-stop shop for all FEMA knowledge and programs that relate to this hurricane. Please, 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 there are people out here who are doing such hard work 
to help you guys recover. Please don't get swayed by other websites that are misleading you or misguiding you. FEMA.gov, that's where you go to get your official news and information. And I just really, again, from the bottom of my heart, I could not fathom this loss, but you are all resilient and wonderful and you are gonna get through this and I promise you that we will help you in any way that you can. Thank you so much for your time and for letting us even talk to you. Oh, okay.